everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Alma. It is a Cornish game hen kind of day, guys. Let's get started. All right, guys, so you've seen a Cornish game hen in your grocery store. If you're planning to make it, you need to do some pre-planning because you'll need to defrost this. You'll... Now, what you could do is you could go ahead and brine this like you would a um, turkey, and or you could just probably soak this for a few hours to get them defrosted. I just put them in the refrigerator the day before and you're good to go the next day. I have cleaned these off and also dried them off. Here they are. All right, so I have my scale set to zero. This one is 23.3 pounds. They're supposed to be right around 22, 22.3 pounds. Did you hear that? 22.3 ounces. Check out this guy. This is 20.6. Most people would take their lovely bird and they would stuff it with some rosemary. I'm not a fan of rosemary, tell you right now, just not. So what I'm gonna do is something very basic, guys. I'm just gonna oil these little bad boys. You could stuff some garlic under here, which would be great. Uh, I might put one clove of garlic under the skin, we'll see. I'm not a huge fan of olive oil. Are you guys? I am gonna actually use sesame oil. I know it's not as great for you as olive oil. However, I think the taste would be great. So I'm gonna oil these down with some sesame oil and then salt and pepper, and that's it. You can use your ordinary salt and pepper, which would be great. I told you guys I found this pecan smoked uh, sea salt at Big Lots. I love this. In fact, I went back the other day, they didn't have any. I'm hoping they restock. I will buy a few if they have them. Um, now, I haven't even shared with you what I'm actually making. I'm kind of craving a little bit of Thanksgiving right now. So I thought, let's see if we can make something similar to a, a Cornish stuffed game hen. I used to make this and it was of course very carby your traditional stuffing would go inside of here and delicious i'm gonna go ahead and try and make a cauliflower version of this all right guys so let's go ahead and get the season Woo, I'm gonna next i will salt and pepper these and then let them rest all right, guys, so here I have part of my mirepoix. A mirepoix is typically um, some sauteed vegetables. Traditionally, the trinity of it is the uh, celery, the onions, and the peppers. So you saute them, not brown them, over a long period of time um, in butter. And this is going to be a mini mirepoix. Why? Because, <laughs> guys, as I said, I am never traditional. So I don't have my sweet yellow onions, which is what I would typically use. I have red onions, three and a half ounces of it, and I didn't have any bell peppers. I should have just had David buy those two ingredients for me, but I'm kind of using what I've got. Um, however, the celery can't be substituted. So I am had to have him pick me up some celery. Over here, I've got my poblano pepper. So it's gonna be spicy. And if you know my family, we like our spice. So three ounces of each of these, then I'll have my three ounces of my celery, which will go into a pan which has one stick of butter already melted if you go to my affiliate link my Amazon affiliate link you guys will find some items that are very similar to it look at the consistency you will see how consistent all of the cuttings are guys look at that look at that now I've been doing a little bit of lazy keto however the one area where I won't do lazy keto guys is with my cauliflower so when you buy the rice cauliflower pre rice cauliflower guys my family tends to think that it tastes a little off a little processed and I imagine there has to be a spray or something on it to help keep it from going bad all right guys so you'll just take a little paring knife and cut off the bad spot and you're good to go This entire process took all of about four minutes to get it all chopped up and put into the processor and get my cauliflower rice. I think David is home. He David. is. He is. Oh my gosh, what do you have for me, David? He spoiled me. I don't even have to chop it. So guys, a quick demo. Oh my goodness. A quick demo being done by Daisy the chef. Or not. All right, so guys, you'll just open it up. You'll flip it over and check it out, guys. Look at these, they're all perfect. All right guys, so here we have everything prepared. I have my bell peppers, AKA poblano peppers. I have my onions, AKA 
red onions and I have my celery three and a half ounces three and a half ounces eight ounces I have my uh, cauliflower I have my sesame oiled Cornish game hen about 20 a little over 20 ounces on each and I have my air fryer warming up at 320 degrees for 10 minutes we're sauteing our vegetables I have one stick of butter in my pan and you're gonna saute this over low heat you're not browning these you're just sauteing these I'm throwing in everything at once we're gonna go ahead and let these simmer over low heat all right guys so the air fryer just went off it's preheated again we did this at 320 degrees for 10 minutes now we're gonna take our Cornish game hen we're gonna place it into our air fryer and you're going to want to cook this so that the deep thigh area is at least 170 degrees. I have a small air fryer. Look, I have a small air fryer. I've got this in my air fryer for 10 minutes. Going to flip it over every 10 minutes, probably 30 minutes. So I'm going to flip it over now, guys. See how well that works. Good job. Flip it over. Let's cook this for another 10 minutes. We'll be back. We have this reduced down quite a bit. One thing we'll be adding from here on, guys, is salt, sage, and a little bit of poultry seasoning. Because we're trying to do a, uh, I don't know, what, Thanksgiving in July? Now, let me tell you, if this was traditional seasoning, I would most likely be using close to half a container of sage. I love sage dressing. Ooh, it probably would have been good to have some gizzards in here, too. All right, guys, so I am throwing in about oh i don't know two tablespoons of sage and about quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning it already smells like thanksgiving in the kitchen now oh my gosh and then we're going to add in our cauliflower one cup at a time because i don't know how much we're going to actually need that's two cups Let's mix around three cups and see where we are. One more heaping and that takes it to four and I think that will be sufficient, guys. Let this cook down a little bit. That is really good. All right, let's go ahead and flip the bird one more. <laughs> flip the bird. <laughs> That's not what I meant, guys. Let's turn the bird. Another 10 minutes, see where it is. All right guys, so I cooked this for an additional six, so about 36 minutes, and look how pretty it is, but guess what? I can't find my meat thermometer. I'm gonna kinda cut through it a little bit, see if it's ready, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, I've taken about three quarters cup of the stuffing mixture, and I have some pre-dusted pork rinds, guys. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons to this, the first one, I'm just gonna mix in. And the second one, guys, we're gonna top off. And then we're gonna put this in our air fryer at 320 once again. Probably about 15 minutes. Now, there are plenty of recipes out there, guys, that use a, you know, a faux cornbread and they make a stuffing that way. I just really wasn't in the mood <laughs> for turning my oven on. It's 105 degrees here in Texas, so oven was not an option. I'm gonna have David give it a taste test in just a minute and we'll see if it's a thumbs up or not. Oh, this must be embarrassing for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just try the stuffing first. I added a little pork rind mixture to it and I topped it off and I cooked it. No, oh, honey, it's stuffing. Very close to it, isn't it? Yes, that is very good. Now, I love sweet cornbread. You could easily add a little bit of erythritol and or some stevia. <laughs> and it would be a sweet mixture. I just didn't, I didn't go for it. I just left it savory. Mmm. Air fried Cornish game hen. Cooked to perfection. Yes. I Is it moist? So. Uh-huh. So I have to tell you guys this, but I did stuff the breast with a little bit of garlic. Garlic? Yes. I can't eat garlic. <laughs> I'm so glad it turned out well, honey. It's wonderful. All right, so that's caveman style, guys. We're not proper around here. Who needs a knife and a fork? All right, so two thumbs up, babe? Mm-hmm. We love Thanksgiving around here. 
Is it a good substitute for real cornbread? It doesn't. If you if you not told me that what it was, I would have thought it was cornbread. Wow. Stop Thanks, it. honey. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys, so I placed my second little hen in my bowl, used this to stuff the cavity, and we're gonna go ahead and put this into our air fryer, cook it the same way, and uh, just get all the yummy juices from the hen into your stuffing. And check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh my gosh. It is dripping good, guys. Look at that, oh my gosh. The stuffing is oozing out. Ooh, that looks good. All right, guys, let's give it a try. Cut this in half, guys. Serve it up. Split the stuffing, and you are good to go. Now, David finished eating the first one. I did weigh it out, and the carcass was a little over 7 ounces from a 20-ounce hen. So it was about 13 ounces of protein. And so you guys decide. If you're doing an OMAD, that may be your full meal. All of that protein, up to you. Just make sure you're adding enough fat to your day and uh, enjoy. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Hope you like this. Let me know if you try it. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you kissed my teeth. <laughs>